see it. Good morning. I missed you guys. So, um, I didn't film much this week. I felt like I was sleeping a lot. As you can tell, I'm still talking funny. I actually go on Monday to get my new crown. <laughs> and since I've been chewing on this side, I've been eating mostly like softer foods. I keep biting like the back of my jaw, so that's fun. Um, I'm getting ready to make some coffee. I actually already made coffee. I have a little hot coffee going, and I'm gonna have some soup for breakfast because again, soft things. I picked up the camera because I was gonna show you something. Oh. My half of my order came. That's what I was gonna show you. I remember now. My Lululemon spring video is coming up. I hope you guys will watch. Um, so this is half of my haul, which is like a lot of stuff and some super fun colors. I even have a couple of skirts this time. I have a purple skirt and a black skirt. Um, I haven't tried anything on. Like I said, only half has arrived. I'm waiting for, um, I think, seven more items and then how many was in here yeah seven i'm waiting on seven more items and then i ordered two fanny packs because they just extended the sizings on um the fanny packs as well so the belts are longer now so i ordered two of those with my own money because they came out after um like my partnership stuff so yeah i excited for those the boy really likes those too he already stole my like army green one he took it with him to san diego so yeah i wanted to show you guys like partially like a sneak peek of the fun colors and then you'll see it when this video actually comes out i got a flavored water at sonic a few days ago so i've been using um the cup i just got a route 44 water with peach and mango it was really good so i'm gonna make some snow ice in my blend tech code eden i think it's 20 or 25 percent off which is pretty good um, this is my coffee. It's just one of those Cafe Bustella packets that I took on the cruise. I'm trying to find the side that has the words on it, but I can't see it. Okay, there we go. It says mushroom. It's really hard to see. <laughs> That's an old Four Sigmatic mug. I used to love them, but then I got digestive issues, so I had to cut out like all high FODMAP foods. Anyhow, I'm going to make this into snow. I say snow because there's barely like any chunks. <laughs> when you do it, it's just like powdered. And I'm going to fill this up and then I'm just going to use a little bit of two little flavorings in it just to help get in some extra water in like 44 ounces. I'm going to do half of these, this Country Time Lemonade Zero Sugar. It says that these were new at HEB, so I guess they're new. I'm going to do about half and I'm just going to sprinkle it on top of my ice. Oh, sprinkles. I already sprinkled some. Yeah, that's about half. Mm, that's a little less than half. There you go. And then I'm going to do some of this watermelon electrolyte stuff. And this is 30 ounces. We'll see how much actually fits with all the ice that's in there. I'm having this green chicken chili from HEB. I was going to say Trader Joe's. I don't know. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a while. Maybe next week. Um, so I'm going to have this for lunch. 440 for the container. And, uh, yeah, I would love to have something else. I'm tired of eating soft things. I cannot wait until Monday. I should have recorded my workout. <laughs> I think of it now. But I'm running out of the house, so I'm going to drink this while I go to Dick's. I need to get a pair of, like, arch support socks because I have a flat foot. And sometimes I, like, hurt my arch. <laughs> so I need to go get a pair of socks because uh, this arch is hurt on this side, so... Yeah, I bounced and I did some resistance bands. <laughs> I used a few different ones and I'm leaving them on the floor because I live here and I can do what I want. So yeah, running to D-I-C-K-S to get those socks. I made it to D-I-C-K-S. I have on my little lemon shoes again and I have a mask, which no one else in Texas does. So I look like a leper. Who doesn't like a little CrossFit on the way to the store? No. Oh, 8 to 10 inches or is that your shoe size? They're kind of cute, right? They're kind of cute. This is what I was looking for. I love these things. They're so good.
I only got three things from Torrid. I'll show you when I get home. <laughs> Most of them aren't even clothes. It is so exhausting to see such ugly clothing <laughs> all the time. And I know I don't have like the best sense of style. I'm pretty like frilly and modest, I guess you would say. Sometimes I'll pull out all the stops and do a booby situation. But everything was just so outdated looking and terrible and obviously it's torrid you know they've really just given up i think there were a few cute things online that i was hoping i would see in store like styles of dresses that i like but i did not see them so bummer but i did get a really 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 cute belt and then just some sunglasses so which i just told you guys what i got so <laughs> maybe i can show you i don't know oh bad lighting Okay, yeah, my camera's gonna die. I bought myself some sunflowers from Trader Joe's, which are now $4.99 instead of $3.99, and they are much smaller, but they're just so beautiful. I have them in an old pasta jar because I don't have vases, but I like it. It's still cute. <laughs> I also ran to Vitamin Shop to grab these uh, Alani New Collagens because they're flavored. Uh, this one's flavored like the pre-workout that I take some time, Breeze Berry. This one's rainbow candy. So it's basically my beauty water, but I don't have to add anything. Well, I usually use tea, but anyhow. Still, I got these. They're kind of expensive for this size. I think this is only 15 servings for $29. So it's crazy. So I'll try them and see if I like them. If they're not like phenomenal, then I probably want oh, actually 14 servings. Jeez Louise. Um, this is the belt that I got from Torrid. I just show, and I'll show you the sunglasses too. Um, it's 12 bucks, which is fine. <laughs> and it's a size four and it fits well. I don't think I have barely any belts. So I really like needed one for just cinching dresses and stuff. And I like the extra little gold hoops. It looks really cute when it's on. And then the sunnies I got. So this video is late. Look at my lip. My, um. Uh, my, ma my mouth is numb from the dentist. I got my temporary crown. I get my regular one next week. But I spent the last two days puking because I accidentally ate soy protein concentrate. <sighs> it's so annoying. Because there was kind of a little sticker over where I could see all of the ingredients. And it said soy. And I kind of skimmed it. But, you know, I can have, like, soy sauce and, um like a little bit of soy lecithin so I didn't think it was that but the soy protein concentrate was not exactly in my sight so I ate that I felt weird after eating it it was like in a little bao bun but it was a beef bao bun so I'm like uh, shouldn't be any like soy soy in it but you know a lot of things even like shelf stable soup the chicken a lot of the time is like ground chicken with added soy to give it more protein or to like cut the cost so, anyways, long story short, I just wasn't careful enough, and I didn't read it, and this is the second time that I've gotten sick from soy, not super recently, but, you know, last year, I spiked a crazy fever, and had a fever for three days, and my throat was, like, super raw, this anesthesia is, like, working its way out of me, it's so itchy, um, not, like, itchy, tingly, um, so, yeah, that was terrible, my throat's super sore now, I puked, for like a day and a half, almost two days, it sucked really bad. <laughs> and then I just like laid on the couch with like terrible stomach pain all day yesterday. And then I was hoping I would feel better in time to go to the dentist because there's a hundred dollar cancellation fee if you don't cancel 24 hours in advance. And even if I canceled on Sunday, it's not a business day. So I would have gotten charged the cancellation fee. So I went, got my temporary crown. They told me I still can't eat on that side really for a week. So annoying I gotta go get more soft things which also means I have to go to my parents house and take all the stuff I bought that I intended to eat that has been too tough for me to eat so I have like a thing of mushrooms from Costco a thing of bell peppers from Costco cucumbers um some cheeses I mean some of the cheese will be fine but some of it needs to go so I'm gonna run all that stuff over to my parents house and also since I threw up and I have ADHD I get a, little, a lot of sensory issues, so now I cannot eat any foods that are the texture of throw up. <laughs> this is probably making some of you guys gag. So um, I just threw out the rice I made because I cannot eat that again. Um, 
I threw, I didn't throw out, but I'm taking the oatmeal that I bought to my parents' house because last time I threw up, I couldn't eat oatmeal for like four years. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the oatmeal to my parents' house and anything else that I'm like, well, about. And at first I thought I had food poisoning. I was like, oh, cause I have like this chimichurri sauce from Trader Joe's and I was like, man, was that old? But I like smelled it first and I was like, this should be fine. It's just like oil and herbs. But then I realized that the bao buns had soy in them. So that sucked. Because at first I got some dumplings too. Um, and then some pho. And the pho was fine. The dumplings were fine. There was no soy in the dumplings at all. I read those and I've had those before. Um, but I was like, oh, maybe they changed the ingredients of the dumplings. And then I saw the bao buns had it in there. And I was like, oh, shit, this sucks. But yeah, I hate the sensation of throwing up. Throwing up is the absolute worst. And that's why this video is not up in time. It's up later. So you guys are seeing it late. <laughs> and I did not record rebounder video this week. Um, I did on Instagram for a workout share week that I was doing. I recorded some, um, I did my full workout, but then I recorded some clips for Instagram too. But I didn't get around to filming because I felt like shit. So <laughs> once the anesthesia wears off here, maybe tomorrow... I will film some more stuff. I don't know. It'll just depend. I don't even know when I'm going to have time to edit this, to be completely honest. So, while it's still early in the day and, like, everyone's at work, I'm going to go ahead and um, take this stuff to my parents' house before it hits, like, 5 o'clock and it's crazy traffic and stuff like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and get everything packed up. My mom's going to be like, when are you dropping off? Oh, those Brussels sprouts. I really wanted to eat those Brussels sprouts. I haven't had Brussels sprouts in a very long time. <laughs> my mouth because you guys know when I became allergic to soy it because it had kind of destroyed my digestive tract ignore all of the speech impediments currently like I have a pinch over here this is numb it's just like annoying um because soy had like destroyed my digestive tract I couldn't eat anything with FODMAPs which a lot of people thought I had IBS I didn't it was just an allergic reaction which led to intolerances that were temporary so I couldn't eat beans for a really long time, I couldn't eat Brussels sprouts, I couldn't eat cabbage, I couldn't eat onions, I couldn't eat a lot of garlic, I could eat a tiny bit of garlic, I couldn't eat apples, like there were so many things I couldn't eat. I was basically just eating bell peppers, cucumbers, um, like I could eat potatoes, rice, stuff like that. I was able to eat a little bit of tomatoes, like it was like very limited what I could eat for almost a year. So like those are pretty much the only vegetables I bought was like bell peppers, regular peppers, cucumbers, like that kind of like watery, and of course like greens and lettuce and stuff was all I could really have. So like now that I can have Brussels sprouts, I was super excited to have them, but I can't chew them now. <laughs> so I haven't had them in a very long time and now I can tolerate them. Beans, I am pretty good with like, if I can cook the beans myself, they're great. But like the last time I ate canned beans, my stomach hurt really, really bad. Like. My digestive tract was not okay that time, but I think I just overdid it, like I ate too many beans. It was probably like a cup of beans. And I feel like canned beans, I probably should eat less. But like when I go to Chipotle and they just do the scoop of beans, I'm fine with that too. So now that I can eat that stuff, I was excited to make some yummy roasted Brussels sprouts. But I guess one more week until I get my crown and then probably another week until like this side of my mouth feels normal um, from having to bear the load of chewing. That's why I'm minimizing the chewing and just doing like soups, jellos. Um, I did the bao buns because they were super soft. I've had like toast like stuff like that um tuna salad has been really easy because saltines kind of dissolve they don't they're not super hard to chew so i've been doing like tuna salad with those jalapeno saltines that i got um and i've been putting the zouge sauce on top from trader joe's and that's really good <laughs> but yeah <laughs> i'm gonna stop talking because i can't stop focusing on how silly i look right now um I should have just stayed on the cruise ship. Life was so much more simple on the cruise ship. But yeah, maybe I should just go work on a cruise ship. I used to actually want to be a cruise ship performer. And maybe I will at some point in my life because I do really miss performing. Um, I mean, teaching workouts, I feel like I get to perform in an aspect. I get to like host. <laughs> so I think that's why I leaned on uh, fitness teaching so much. But 
I don't know, who knows where life will take me. But anyhow, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and get up to my parents' house. I don't think anyone's there. It'll just be me and the doggos. Aw, the doggos. I love those little girls. They were so excited when I got back from my cruise. Sorry, my thing can't focus. Because usually they don't go that long without seeing me. And I didn't go this weekend because, of course, I was uh, puking my guts out. <laughs> and anytime I go there and it's been longer than a week, like if it becomes two weeks before I go see them, they're crazy and wagging their backs out and looking, peeing on themselves. Jinx will pee on herself. Jinx Eden, the one that's named after me, she'll pee herself because she's so excited to see me. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to go up there and oh no i was thinking i was gonna go to this rice ball place because my sibling really loves these rice balls like the i think they're called onigiri or i think so they're little triangle ones that are like filled with stuff and there's just like a strip of seaweed around them it's not like a roll it's like a triangle um they love those but it's just it's so far i'd have to go way that other way and then go way back up there and they'd be like cold by the time i got way up there anyway because my parents live about 35 ish 30 35 depending on traffic minutes away from me which is why i need to shut up and go okay. so the mom bag has the rest of these cheese snacks that i haven't really eaten um some baby bell i have a lot more so i figured i'd share some my mom really likes them, but she doesn't buy them because she thinks they're expensive. So, um, one of these, because I got four of them, they last forever, but um, I just figured I'd take one of them over a thing of mushrooms, um, bell peppers, Brussels sprouts, cucumbers, and then I'm going to put the dry stuff in there now. I got this at Trader Joe's, but it's the um, texture of throw up, so I can't eat it. Same thing with that and that. So, that's everything that's going. Bella Rose. Bella Rose. Hi. Hi, girls. You ready to come out? Look, those are the Oreos I bought Winky for Christmas. All right, come on. Let me open it. Hold on, let me open it. I opened it now right now. Okay. Hi. Hello. Oh, they they don't bite. They, they do this out of love. They bite your fingers. Hi, Belly. Oh, yeah. Hi, and we just didn't care to break them out of the habit, so. I don't know why there's a shirt in the backyard. That's our big trampoline. It has a seven year warranty and I feel like my dad needs to get the springs replaced before the warranty's up. Cause it sat out here like the last two winters. We didn't take it down, so. I'm gonna call him about that. <laughs> I'm finding the warranty paper on those. This is our shade tent because it's very hot in Texas and there's a lot of bugs. So we go in there and hang out while the dogs are doing their business. I forgot to tell you guys, this doctor thought I had high blood pressure as well. I don't. So I went to the first dentist and my blood pressure was like 165 over something. I was like, whoa, that's really high. And she's like, oh, the top number. Yeah. And I was like, like you should be calling an ambulance high. <laughs> and then today they took it and it was 145 over something. And I was like, hey, that's a different dentist. I was like, that's really high for me. And she's like, okay, let's retake it. So we retook it. She wasn't paying attention to where my arm was. I had had my arm down by my side and I put it over my heart. And it came back normal, like 117 over, I can't remember the bottom number. But in my normal, like normal blood pressure range. And I was like, oh yeah, that's more like it. And she's like, I'm glad you said something because, you know, if you have high blood pressure, like, I don't know what it is with dental anesthesia, they like to know, and I don't, but I was like, I'm glad that I said, like, 145 was high, because she was just going to accept that number, and I think they expect people that are bigger to have higher numbers, but I don't, like, if mine's over 121, my top number, I know something's weird with me, or I'm either in a lot of pain, and this is what's going to happen. <sighs> Thanks, Eden. Thanks, little Eden. Hi, little Eden. Got my little Eden baby. She thinks she found food. She's a foodie. She thinks she found food. She did not find food. Hi, baby. Hi, Bowie. Hi. I don't want a French kiss. I don't want a French kiss. Here, you come up in your spot. Okay, thank you. Oh, oh. 
You do have something in your mouth. Belly, come here. Come here. Hi. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, sweet girl. Look at you, you're so cute. Bella's, are you 10? Are you 10 years old now? Or are you nine and a half? Tell your auntie. Thank you for the kiss. Oh, wow. And then you will go away I'm not gonna be back and you can stay mm -hmm. So maybe if you asked me yesterday I would handle this shit differently Things are different, I'm a new me That's not gonna happen That's not gonna happen That's not, that's not gonna happen So even if you're asking Even, even if you're asking Cause I do What I do And it's time Chili is kind of the consistency of puke too, so I don't know if I'll be able to eat this, but I got the kettle fire one because um, the bone broth I felt like would be good for my digestive tract, so I got that one. Then I got the Pacific Foods chicken noodle. I got a kettle fire chicken noodle. These were super expensive and these were on sale, so that's why I got that. I got one of these Rayo's uh, tortellini and vegetable, which let me, Rayo's usually doesn't use soy, but let me just double check. Yeah, and then I got two of these Healthy Choice chicken and rice. I really love the Healthy Choice uh, chicken noodle I got last time, and I get them because they're made with bone broth and because they have no soy. A lot of, like, the Campbell's and Progresso all have soy protein. It's so freaking annoying. I'm like, it's soup. What the heck? So when I was vegan, I was always annoyed that everything had milk in it. Now I'm annoyed that everything has soy in it. So, um, yeah, I got two of those, and then I still have, like, some creamy soups in the fridge, which... Um, I probably won't be able to eat right now, um, but maybe, you know, in the next few days. So that's what I grabbed at the store and I got Starbucks. Ran to H-E-B and I finally found the milk and cookies of the Chobani Zero Sugar. And I also just got a regular Faye Zero because I need to make some tuna salad and I always do half Greek yogurt and half mayo. So I have that, have these. I also picked up this guy. Um, cause it's very soft. <laughs> the shells are chicken, so it's like easy to eat and it has a good amount of protein. Been having a hard time getting in protein when you can't chew very well. So, um, last time I didn't like these cause I didn't know that they were chicken shells. So I wasn't expecting it, but now that I'm expecting it, it's different. And then I got two of these cause they're pretty easy to like chew. So I got two different things of egg bites. I haven't eaten in over 24 hours. I have a huge headache. But I also have presents, so that makes me feel better. I'm going to eat soon. I just had to wait for my numbness to wear off, and I didn't eat yesterday because I was barfing, so I really wish my body, hi, that's me, didn't have such a violent reaction to soy. It seems a little uncalled for. This is the thing I'm most excited for. It's a ribbed yoga bodysuit, and honestly, oh my gosh, look how gorgeous already. Just like the fabric. Ah. Oh. In love. This is what I wish that girlfriend collective ribbed would have looked like. But so I just counted. I have seven <laughs> total. Just making sure. So 14. And then I will have I have two bags on their way. And the size 20. Okay. I'm uh, just making sure everything is the right size and everything. Sometimes, you know, this came like out of the bag, but it's super soft. Oh, there's something on it. I don't know if I did that. I think I did. Um, checking sizes, size 18, what is this, black, oh yeah, it's that shirt, and then these two go together, so I make couch squeaks because I'm fat, so, 
Okay, yeah, so that's everything. I'm gonna put it in there and then wait for my two bags and then I can film this. I can't breathe, but these were so fun. I did both of them, but they're not showing up. I did one, obviously, first and then two. So good, so fun. Definitely do them if you love grease. <sighs> now I'm just bouncing it out, catching my breath, clearing out the lymph nodes, align tank, fast and free, pants, bliss feels on the feet. And yeah, just getting a little active recovery in. Probably did a little bit longer of a bounce because that was like 20 something minutes. Do like 10 minutes here. Even though I had dental work today, I just felt like I needed to move to get like all of the anxiety and everything out of my body. I, I don't, I'm not afraid of the dentist, but I don't think anyone likes the dentist. Being numbed, knowing they're drooling at your teeth, like not a fun sitch. So just bounced it out and I'm take a shower. Um, I was getting ready to tell you something that was TMI, but I'm gonna spare you. I mean, we already talked about puking a lot this vlog. Um, I just finished recording my rebounder workout for this week. I'm having a quick, easy lunch. Egg bites, because you barely have to chew these. And yogurt, because you don't have to chew it at all. My temporary crown is like a little bit too big, um, but they thickened it because they, it was really thin in some places and they were afraid of it cracking. So. It's a little too big for me to like chew evenly. It's ugh, very annoying. I cannot wait until next week. I am feel I am feeling a lot better. It's just oh my upper back and my ribs and my chest. Like if I take a very deep breath, it's definitely sore. It feels like someone just squeezed my ribs and like top of my body to death. Oh, like right there. It hurts from all that puking. I'm um making my egg bites right now. They look exactly like the Starbucks little tray, but I think they're like, they cost about the same. They're 350. They were like four for 12 um, this week at HEB, but I just got two of them because I wasn't sure if I'd like them. And then I haven't tried that yogurt yet, but I'm gonna have that as well. And then probably soup for lunch. <laughs> I'm over it, if you can't tell. Ah, hi temporary crown it's very uneven and you know I have like sensory issues so I just keep touching it because it's bumpy on the side because like the temporary cement stuff it's just so annoying I can't wait until this is all over <laughs> the dentist gives me weird sensory stuff anyways anytime I get a new filling I feel like I mess with it for like weeks at a time until I get used to it and I feel like it's part of my body <laughs> I had to wash my hair last night because it was super itchy. But my egg bites are done. I'm trying to decide if I should have coffee. Maybe. Maybe I have a warm coffee. I'm making some grapefruit juice. I already have three of them peeled. I just score them like this so that they're easier to peel because the grapefruits obviously have a pretty thick skin. So just like that. I'll also peel them like this when I'm eating them because I eat them like an orange. So I'm gonna finish peeling this, put it in here and blend it up. I'm not gonna add water or anything. Anytime I make juices, I use my blend tech. If I'm doing a lot of greens, I'll use a little bit of water. But if I'm using like cucumbers, I won't. And I just have my pot with a strainer and then I'm gonna throw a wet tea cloth over the top. <laughs> it's just easier. To get it through if it's a little wet you can also use a nut milk bag if you have one but i don't know what happened to mine so tea cloth is fine and just blend it up okay and we go and then just squish out all the pulp if you want you can use the pulp in smoothies i just freeze it and then take it to the co-op when i go and throw it in their compost bin and if you <laughs> I sometimes add a little bit of pulp in because I do like a little bit of pulp, but if you uh, leave it the way that it is, it's like overly pulpy. I don't know if anyone likes it that pulpy. For lunch, I'm having some chicken noodle soup with a couple of little chicken dumplings and a crab cake and Joe Kinda, the detective. I was tracking my food and I just wanted to show you guys this. A lot of people always ask like, why did you quit WW? You were so successful and this is kind of why. So right now I'm eating around 1800 calories a day. I don't track every day. I track 
basically every once in a while just to make sure that what I've been eating is within like an acceptable <laughs> range for me. So I've tracked everything that I have eaten today. So breakfast, um, it's actually a little bit higher than this because I threw away the package. It's 20 more calories. The ones I had this morning were 300, not 280, but who's stressing over 20 calories? Um, I tracked my lunch. The shumai, I have three of those in my bowl with, um, actually there's four in here. I just saw that because I had seven left and I split my soup between two days. So let's fix that. So I'm um, still 188 calories left for the day. Um, that's my lunch. I'm going to have that soup from Trader Joe's for my dinner and I have a little cheesecake pod that I want to have for a snack later. 340 calories are pre-tracked it so that like that it's not like ooh, let me find a snack I already have my snack track so have still like 1600 calories a little bit low I probably will like after I drink that grapefruit juice I'll probably just like net out at my calories um but when I go into WW I use the 8 app a lot too I pre-tracked um the same things my HEB things uh my cheese bites or egg bites um, Trader Mings. Um, I tracked the pork because I couldn't find the chicken. I think they're relatively about the same amount of points and calories, whatever. So I tracked my dinner, the cheesecake pod, 340 calories, 16 points. Um, the soup is only 450 calories, it's 17 points. And I know it's because it has a lot of fat, but still. So I've used 55 dailies, which is way more than I have. I don't know how many I have these days. Let's see. Mm, 44. So I went over and then into my weeklies when I still have calories left. So that's just for me. And I know people could say, well, if you eat less processed food or if you didn't eat prepared foods, you can stay within your points. Yes, I know that, but like, I don't feel like making a big batch of soup right now. <laughs> I, I want options of different soups um, to get me through the next week. And um, I want to have those egg bites. Yes, I can make them at home for less. And at some point in life, I definitely will just because it's cheaper, honestly. Um, but this week is easier to grab them at the store. So um, even though I'm perfectly within my calorie goal, I'm way over points. So yeah. And yes, I know what I could do to work it into that, but is that really food freedom? I don't know. Anyhow, that's that. I use the aid app with my dietitian though, all the time. So Les Mill sent me an offer to reactivate for like $4 for four weeks or something. So I'm gonna do this 29 minute bar class right now. I'd say the class was good. Um, very sweaty. It was nice to have the <laughs> rebounder cause I could lift it up like this and use it as a bar when we're doing this kind of stuff. Um, and then also for the end for stretching. So my lower back hurts if I lay on it, sometimes on like this hard, hard floor, but that's super cushy. So that was great. Um, I, like I said, I filmed earlier. I've been trying to stay moving even though I don't feel great because historically, <clears throat> when I fall out of routine, it's when I get sick. Oh, it still hurts a little bit to breathe like deep from all that like retching um like after I had like UTIs back to back and then I hurt I fell on my hip after that so like that like took me back for a while and I just don't want to like it's so hard to get fit again when you like take weeks and weeks off or months off you know so I'm trying to get back to moving even though I don't feel great and especially after vacation I didn't go to any of the Zumba classes on the boat we went to the gym once which was gorgeous like saying oh I should have showed you guys a tour of the gym it's like a beautiful ocean view where the treadmills were loved it anyhow maybe I should just go be a professional mermaid on a cruise ship I don't know maybe that's my next my next career who knows <laughs> but I'm gonna go ooh, shower I was thinking if I was going to eat dinner or shower first. I'm going to go shower first and then have that tomato soup from Target that I really like for dinner. It has chicken meatballs in it and like little tiny round pastas. It's pretty good. It's in the like 
refrigerated section if you're at Target. This is, I'm filling a pot right now. This is the soup I was talking about from Target. If I, I feel like I showed this in like my last video. It's so dark because apparently there's a storm of brewin, but that's what it looks like. Guess who threw up all day today? Again, me. Um, I was worried, so I took a pregnancy test. Not pregnant. And then my period came, so waste of $7. <laughs> There's always a chance. You never know. You know, birth control is not 100%. So, flowers. They make me so happy. I love flowers. I have to go out, uh, get some tax stuff done. And then, tomorrow, I'm going to edit this video so that you guys can see it. So, I'm going to say goodbye now. I'm feeling better. Um, my ankle feels better. I forgot we talked about the, uh, I'm not fully focused. In this video, totally fine now. It was just like two days of wearing that sock thing. Two bar classes. Because I think going up on your toes and really like getting your arch, archy, you know? <laughs> like when you go up into like a releve, I feel like it really strengthens your arch and like re-engages those muscles. And I feel totally fine. I'm like walking back to normal and everything already. <sighs> but yeah. I love you guys. I will see you next week at some point. I don't know if it'll be Tuesday. Um, my Lululemon video should be due around then. So it'll probably be that video. And yeah, I love y'all. Get out there and love life. the chain